likes bringing others along with him. Um, that's a good trait to have. I mean, he's been in the league for a while, but uh, he takes a lot of pride in being able to have a personality that's encouraging where the young guy feels comfortable and kind of bringing them along and allowing them to see what it looks like to have success and fail and how to work through those things. But he's uh, very intentional with his time in the clubhouse. I mean, even if he's been here a couple of days and you can just tell, like, it's uh, it's important to him. Apparently he brought the whole team chocolate bar yeah. for Valtteri. Yeah. Like, that just shows, like, I the level of unselfishness, yeah. right? Like, yes, uh, 100 chocolate bars and hand them out there. <laughs> Lance Lynn has been described by teammates as a constant delight, another veteran guy that you brought up in your rotation. He's got, I would say, a unique leadership style. Have you seen any Lance Lynn moments or Lance Lynn impact? Um, I've known Lance for a while. Do um, you consider him a constant delight? He's a delight, yes. Uh, no, I love having him around. He's he's direct. His way of doing it is, is, is awesome. Um, because he can be direct, but people know that he cares. And the reason he's doing it is to make sure that one, we stay on track, and two, you get the best version of, of yourself. So uh, he's uh, he's got a good way of doing it, um, and I appreciate it. Yeah, Ali, in regards to Kyle Gibson, um, what can you share about his, I guess it'll be a slider sweeper pitch that uh, impresses you? Um, I mean, when you look at someone that's been in the league that long, uh, their ability to kind of continue to find ways to get out, and um, he's had his seasons where – they're not as good as others, but he found a way to make sure that he stays. I mean, we could sit here and talk about our rotation being old and mm-hmm. old, but this is a guy that actually like pitched well last year. Um, he knows what he's doing, and he's able to explain it to others as well, which is part of the reason why he's here is that that leadership component. So I'm I'm excited for him. I really am. And if I can follow up, is that is that specific pitch? Can you talk about? Like that, like him having that pitch. What makes it effective? It's a good, one, good one to have in his arsenal. I suppose. Yeah, I'd rather not talk about the specific pitches, but other, uh, other than Tacky, are there buddies that you had hands on? Is there anybody who's behind or different? Um, no, just Middleton with the stomach yeah, bug yeah, yesterday. Yeah. That was the only one he's that only was. One. Yeah, um, he won't throw side today. We'll kind of ease him back into it, but uh, he's the only one that we really. Have. You, um, <laughs> you mentioned yesterday Middleton was in St. Louis to kind of finalize the sure. deal. And then he popped out to your place to hang out. Um, yep. Was that for like a dinner or was that? They just came over. For, was it kind of impromptu? Um, yeah, once he got done with his physical and completed everything, we just had him over for a little bit. We got to talk, get to know him, um, know, understand what he's about. And uh, and I love his personality. I really do. He's got an edge to him. He's a competitor. He's all about winning. Um, since that, I mean, seconds into a conversation, um, he appreciate, appreciates the, the structure, but uh, overall, I think this is going to be a really nice fit for our time. Where's, where is he in his career in a sense of three free agency, so six years of service time, but not really a clear role, like, or maybe one that is just now developing because of the stuff he has? I think there's room to see another level of what he's capable of doing. When you talk to him, it's interesting. He's a huge basketball guy. Like He grew up playing basketball, loves loves the game, and isn't fully developed from a both physical and mental standpoint of how he approaches hitters. I think there's room there, and he'll tell you there's room there. So that's exciting when you have that firepower with room for understanding how to attack hitters and use his stuff properly. And um, that's a lot of reason to get excited. Yeah, I was to say about his baseball IQ that he's a guy who could throw gas, but last year he that changeup became a huge weapon. So I think he threw it like 43% of the time. Yeah, so. if you look at our pen, there's a lot of fastball slider kind of mix of that changeup from the right side. I mean, that's real. And um, I'm comfortable with it. It's one of the things that we discussed while we were in St. Louis is like, being presented information that can help him understand when to use it and, and why he's using it in certain counts. And, um, it's not that it's new to him, but he's super open to understanding that more, which is why I get excited. Because to your point, he's got a, a good mix, and now layer on how to attack hitters a little bit better would be, would be fun. Is that a, is that a career changer for him? That pitch? Um, we'll see. Yeah. I'm gonna, what's a what's your best? Maybe I'm maybe it's wrong to ask best case here. Well, sorry. What's your best case? You guys have a closer guy who's been an all-star in that role. You have another guy who has experience closing 
and then you have fair to say maybe the, the potential of an array of setup guys i would say so like there's just options for leverage innings where guys i, I would feel comfortable putting them in those situations i mean if you look at andrew he's thrown some meaningful innings over in tampa like he's comfortable throwing late and, and tough games and being on that stage so we do have some options back there with Gio and Andrew and Middleton. I mean, go down the list. There's some good options outside of Helsley and JoJo. Um, so ability to shorten the game is real. Could, you, could that allow you to have, like, you know, you make different choices if it's a tie game or you're behind, too, with, that, with those options? Yes. Is that a big part of it? Yeah. I mean, to have those. I mean, and when somebody's down, they're not able to go that night. Like, it, it allows you to bump everybody up and still feel comfortable about who's going to seven, right? Like, so. I've seen more position players filter in. We saw Nipar coming in. Can you talk about how important that is in terms of the relationship building, that they're here early, they're ready to get after it, and just be around the clubhouse? Yeah, you look at some of the position players that are here. Some of them have been here for a while. Luke getting in today was, was awesome. Uh, his personality is love having him around so the more new the better um but it those guys have done a really nice job of gelling even during the off season and having conversations and jumping on calls and um text threads and it, it's been encouraging it really has so um to get them all in in one room here uh, in the next couple of days is gonna be awesome and again the cool the positive energy that you're feeling right now within the clubhouse and you're feeling people wanting to get back here, eager to get back here. I think that's important for those newer faces to see that there are hungry competitors that are here wanting to get started right away. Have you seen any of those cool interactions between those new faces getting to know the more veteran presences? Yeah, I would say that it's a very hungry group. Um, and it's always good for the young guys to come in and, and see that, but this is a group that's very determined. Um, we're really looking forward to getting started. Geo showed up not only early, like he looks a lot thinner. What, yeah, he looks what good. Is, what does the bounce back year for him look like? Um, man, you look at his numbers against right, he's a pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. um, so lefty's got him a little bit, and we, we think there's some reasons for that. Um, some of it is pitching, some of it is tipping, and um, I think cleaning those two things up allow him to, to have a much better year. But um, you still look at his body of work, right on right and it's, it's good so um to your point he looks good mm -hmm. he, he's ready he's in shape and um he's one of the guys that's super eager to get back out there i mean he was bummed having to finish the year on the aisle this is a guy that takes a lot of pride in going mm -hmm. from beginning to end um so he, he's excited to get back going again for four years he was a guy who took it every time you called 